everyone, how's it going? For today's fun, spooky Halloween video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a zombie burger surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our zombie burger surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper in half. Go ahead and line up the corners like you're making a nice birthday card. And go ahead and fold your paper in half. Next, let's go ahead and fold it one more time, lining up the corners again. And this way it kind of looks like a big bookmark. Now once you open this up, you will have three little lines in here that work as great guidelines to where you need to keep the inside of your drawing. Now to start off with our zombie burger, let's begin with the bun. So I'm going to start right here above the fold and I'm going to make a nice little curve line that comes right to here. Next, I'm going to make a few little lines that just kind of go down and then up so it looks like a big bite's been taken out. Then I'm just going to make a little line that comes down here for the other side of the bun. Right up here I want to make like a brain. So I'm going to make some bumpy lines in here. And I'm also going to add a few little swirls in here just to make it look like the brain. So we'll make a couple little curls in here. Put one more here. Over here I want to make an eye. I'm going to begin by making a circle. I'll leave some space and then I'll make another circle right over here. I'll make a line that goes down and up and another one here just to kind of make it look like he's got some bags under his eyes. Right here I'm going to make a line across and then a line that's going to come down and up. We'll make a little square shape in here for a tooth and a little line here for a tongue. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and color this part of the mouth in really quickly. So we'll just fill this part in with our marker. Now up here, I'm going to make a little wavy line that's gonna come out. We're gonna curl around and I'm gonna bring it back for a worm. And then I'm gonna make a few little lines on here. Next, I'm gonna make sure these lines are right at the very edge of our fold. Next, starting here, I'm gonna make some little kind of bumpy, wavy lines on here. I wanna make these different sizes, and this is gonna be our lettuce. So I'm just gonna make these kind of bumpy and wavy. And then right here, I'm gonna make a little bumpy line that's gonna come across for the burger. So we're just gonna make it really bumpy and everything. Right here, we're gonna make a line that's gonna come out and then down. And another one here, we're gonna come out and then down. And then we'll just curve it across here to make the bottom of the bun. I'll make a little wavy line on here. And up here, I'm just going to add some black dots on here just for a little bit of detail on our burger bun. And then I'm gonna make some small little lines on our burger down here just for some detail. Now, our next step is to open this up and draw all the details on the inside. Now, once we have it opened up, we can start on everything else. So let's go ahead and we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So the first thing I wanna do is finish off this lettuce. So I'm going to bring some of these lines up here and we're just gonna make 
some bumpy, kind of curvy, pointy, wavy lines for our lettuce. And you can see it just goes from one side to the next. Next, I want to make a bunch of worms in here. So I'm going to start here, and we're just going to make some wavy, curly lines. So I'm just going to make some big, wavy, curly lines on here so it looks like there's a bunch of worms on here. So we'll make one there. I'm going to start another one here, and we'll just kind of do that same thing, just to make it nice and wavy. And I'm just going to kind of fill up a bunch of this area with all these wavy lines. There's no right or wrong way on how to do this, but just kind of go ahead and fill up lots of little wavy lines all on here for your worms. So I'm just gonna make them kind of go different directions. You can make some kind of pop out from behind the others. And we're just gonna kind of fill it up with all sorts of different little worms in here. Now, once you have all your worms drawn, we want to go ahead and make some little lines on here, kind of like what we did up here. So we're just going to go ahead and add curve lines onto all of our worms in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add lines on every single one of these. Now, once we have all the worms drawn, I'm going to put a big bone up here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make a big curve line. Then I'm going to make a line that comes across. I'm kind of putting it at an angle. We'll make another bump over here. And then we'll make one more that's going to curve here. I'll make another big bump here. I'm going to bring this up and then down just a little bit. Now, right above here, I'm going to make some eyeballs. So we just want to make some different size circles on here. So we're just going to put some different circles all on here. You want to make some bigger, some smaller. We're just going to put some different ones all around here. So it's up to you on how many you want to have, but I just like to fill up the area with some different circle shapes. We'll put one more here. Now, once we have this, you want to go ahead and put another circle inside of each one. And you want to put these in different areas all around here. You don't want them all going the same direction. So I might have some looking up, some looking down. I'm just going to have them going all over the place here. Next, I'm going to start coloring in each one of these circles. And I'm just going to leave a little bit white inside of each one. Now, after we have our eyeballs drawn, we want to come up here and work on the top of the bun. So we've got these two lines here. I'm going to bring each one down just a little bit farther. And then I'm just going to connect this line across. The next step is to draw a wavy line down here, like it's some sort of sauce or something or slime, whatever you want. But I'm just going to make this wavy line. And then since we have some of these openings here, I want to put a couple spider webs. So I'm going to draw a couple diagonal lines coming down here. And I'll also draw a couple diagonal lines down here. Now, after I have these lines, I'm going to make some little curve lines or like little sad faces in between each one. So I'm going to put a couple more in between here. And then over here, I'm going to add a little spider. So I'm going to make a little line come down. I'm going to put a little oval shape on here that will color in. And then a smaller one right here. 
And then we're gonna make some little lines that come off of here for some legs. And then for some detail, I'm gonna add a little wavy line right here, but I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't go above this fold. And there you go, there's your drawing of a little Halloween zombie burger. When I have my picture all closed up, we have our little zombie burger. And then when we open it up, you can see everything that's on the inside. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.